Now you can also adjust the position of the cap on these pads. And by position, what I'm talking about is where the cap sits on the shoulder. The skill and the trench pads are gonna come with the cap and it's sort of um, perpendicular straight out position. The all purpose pad is gonna ship with the cap shifted slightly forward. And again, that's more for uh, an, an impact player who's, who's making a lot of contact and hitting with their shoulder. We want that cap a little bit further forward to give them some additional protection in this front area. So in order to adjust the cap position, you need to get to the strap under these two fasteners that's actually accessed from inside this external arch. So check out our external arch video for removal of that. And then again, the access to that cap. So now we're gonna walk you through how to remove and replace or reinstall your external arches. Now the external arch is one of the functions they serve and you'll notice that our model number or our, our model type, so skill, all purpose and trench is printed on this external arch. The reason for that is the actual shape in this direction, think about the kind of thickness of the player kind of through their chest and through their back. The skill has the tightest radius, so it's for your, your sort of thinnest profile or thinnest chest. All purpose is a little bit larger radius and then trench is kind of the, the, the largest of the three. So by changing this external arch, you can actually change the profile of the pad and how it fits on different body types. Those arches across all sizes and all models are also interchangeable, so you could take a skill pad, you could take a skill medium, you could take a trench triple extra large and remove that external arch from the trench, install it onto this medium pad, and now you've just created a medium trench pad as far as the fit and the exterior arch goes. So this modularity between the parts um, really allows you to customize and then even evolve the pad and, and change the fit and the function of it um, by just kind of simply swapping exterior components. So the modularity and inter interchangeability of these parts allows for ultimate customization um, and tailoring of the pads throughout the life cycle of it. Again, if you want to change the position, the fit, um, you can do that by simply swapping exterior components that are compatible across all sizes. So to remove your external arch, uh, you may need to access, and actually you will need to access the T-nuts from the inside to keep those from spinning. So we'll go ahead and remove the AC and mid pads. And actually that AC pad can stay in there. It's not really in the way, but if you find that it is, go ahead and remove all of those pads. And even I think the back pad here. So that way you want to expose the T-nut for these four fasteners. So now once that's exposed on one side, I'm going to reach in with either my T-nut tool or my needle nose pliers, grab the notches of those T-nuts to hold it in place and back these fasteners out. So I'm gonna do this for all four. All right, so with all four of those screws out, you can now just lift the external arch right off the pad. So you'll notice that the epaulet and cap all come with this assembly. So if you've watched our cap adjustment video, or if you're looking to adjust the position of the cap, this is where we get to it. So again, you can adjust the length of the cap here with this exterior clasp, but to adjust the position of the cap and put it in either its forward or kind of straight out neutral position, this is where you'll do it. So we'll walk you through that here real quick. This is the same set of fasteners that we used earlier or in our other video to remove and reinstall the epaulet. So at this point, we're basically, we're gonna pull this whole sub assembly apart and show you the individual components and how to adjust that cap position. It's worth noting at this time too, all of the screws along the entire shoulder pad are all the same length, and it's just two different sizes of T-nuts. So the shorter T-nut is used everywhere except for the chest and back mounts, and then the rear belt. Everything else uses the shorter T-nut. So for what we're doing right now, working with the exterior or the external sub arch, the external arch, you'll only need to worry about the short T-nuts and again, the same fastener everywhere else. So, now that I've removed this hardware, again, these are all sandwiched together, the epaulet comes off the top, cap comes out of the bottom, and now you'll see that we have kind of two sets or one and a half sets of holes in here. The two holes that are straight parallel and in line with each other will give you this sort of neutral, straight out the side cap position. If you want that cap to sit further forward, you'll move your T-nut 
into the lower hole, which gives it this angle or this cant to it. And now you'll see how much more coverage you get on the front side of the shoulder. The skill in the trench pad generally will, will come pre-configured in the neutral position and the all-purpose pad will come with that in the forward position. But it is always built the same way inside and you always have the freedom to adjust that to your liking. So to walk back through, now that we've got everything apart, we can reinstall the way we'd like. I'll put this in the forward position so you can see the difference between the two sides. So T-nuts in through the strap connecting the cap. That goes up through the bottom of our external arch. Epaulet goes on top of that. Line your holes up. Install the first fastener. It's in there. Get our second fastener in. Line those up. Now what I like to do at this point, you might have some of your T-nuts a little bit um, kind of out of orientation. As those tighten up, you wanna make sure that these T-nuts are kind of running parallel the edges to the inside of this groove. So that way as everything tightens, those really lock down nicely in place and fully engage. So if you've got a little crooked, loosen that up a little bit until you can rotate this by hand, get it in the right orientation, and then go ahead and tighten them down completely. Again, these fasteners are intended to bottom out, screw to T-nut. So you'll tighten that down until you feel the resistance really peak and you shouldn't be able to, to drive it any further than that. So just keep tightening until those two parts lock together. And that is the proper torque setting. So now that we've got these reassembled, you can really see the difference in the cap positioning from what we would kind of recommend for an impact player or a, a high contact player. And then maybe a more skills player who likes to run that a little bit more neutral position straight out the side. So reinstalling your external arch assembly, just like removing it, we got our four fasteners, two in the front, two in the back. I still got my T-nut hanging out in here, so I'm just lining up that first one. That T-nut should come through the, the main arch and into this external arch. So you should be able to line up those holes pretty well with the T-nut, kind of pressing it into the back with your finger. Get that screw started, we can jump onto the next one. And then as those fasteners tighten up, that T-nut will come all the way through the external, the exterior arch and bottom out against that screw. Now, because of the foam on the inside of the main arch, you'll notice there's about five millimeters of foam built into this main piece here. That T-nut kind of gets pulled into that foam and will kind of do some duty in retaining that. Oops, wrong screw. So you may not have to use your pliers or your T-nut tool until the very end when you're really cinching those down. So I'm just gonna run these all the way in as much as I can till that spins by hand. Do the same over here. I think I spin it a little early. And once I get them snug, then I'll come back in, make sure they're fully torqued down with those two fasteners butted up against each other. Again, the T-nut and the screw bottoming out. And there you go. We've now walked through how to remove the external arch, also adjust the cap while we're in there, and then reassemble all of that. The last step would be go ahead and, and replace your interior pads. Make sure you put your winglet pads down before your mid pads, ensuring a good spacing between all of those. So now that all of our pads are reinstalled, that completes the removal, replacement, um, and reinstallation of the external arch and the associated components with that subassembly.